Hey there, it's Bob Pickett. Sitting with me right now is Herbert Mosley from Select Tours Travel. Listen, if you've listened to KVED, you know, man, on my bucket list has been a trip to Alaska, an Alaskan cruise. Well, guess what? We're going. I'm taking my wife. I'm taking my kids. We got our Piggly Wiggly bags ready, Herbert. We are ready to go. But no, seriously, here's the thing about it. I want you to join me because we're going to have a lot of fun in Alaska. It really is. It's been on my bucket life, a bucket list. It's a trip of a lifetime. Alaska. We are going to explore Alaska. And what better way to do it than somebody who's been to Alaska many times and we're going to hop on a ship and we're going to have fun. I'm excited about this. I seriously am. Well, I'll bring the bucket. Bring the bucket. I may need the bucket. Now, okay, now seriously, we are going to have so much fun. How many days in Alaska? It's about 12 days. 12 days. What are we going to do? Now, I've got this little map right here. We'll get to this later, but what are we going to do while we're in Alaska? This is more than say, somebody going online and booking an Alaskan cruise. This is an experience. Well, it's more than Alaska because we begin in Canada. So you're going to take an airplane from this area yeah. to Vancouver. Which is right here on the map. Right at the right beginning there? of the trip. And yeah. that's in Canada. And if you come on the day we depart, you're only going to be in Canada for about 15 minutes. So in other words, you want to get there a day early just to explore <laughs> You should the get there a day early because Vancouver is a wonderful place to visit. And there's lots of things to do that cost nothing. I mean, there are parks everywhere. We were just there this last summer, and it was gorgeous, just you, beautiful. You go every year on every this trip? Every year, same trip. My friend Don went last summer. He said it's the best trip that he's ever been on. And he says he, he was says a little that, worried about he it. He says that about all of our trips. Well, but, you know, he, he had never been on a ship before. He'd never taken that's a cruise true. before. That's true. All that's true. And he was worried about being seasick. Ah, not going to happen. Not And not of the inside passage. If you look, we travel between islands. Yeah. We're not really out at sea until we get to the Gulf of Alaska. So right here, we're in the the, uh, the straits, inside passage. Yeah. Inside passage. And um, you'll find it to be almost flat. What's interesting about that, that's the only place you can actually see the whales. And if you come up in the, into the ship's observation deck, beautiful, nice, seated location high in the ship, and get your binoculars, you can see water spouts in all kinds of places. And as we pass, we get closer to those. You might even see a rolling whale back every now and then. Now, that is cool. That right there is, you're not going to see that in Texas at all. Now, talking about the ship, we are going to be on which ship? The Nui Amsterdam, which is going to be refurbed, by the way, okay. in March. So that will be 12 years it's been afloat, and it'll be only three months from the complete refurbation on the inside. And again, the uh, the cruise line is? Holland America. I knew that. I've been on a Holland America ship. We went one time to the Caribbean, and that is such a, it's a clean ship. The food is great. I mean, it, it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's very outstanding. That's the way to go. So seven days on the ship. You spend seven days on the ship in the inside passage. Yeah. We stop at, uh, you know, Juno. We stop at Kitchikan. We stop uh, very up at the very top of the uh, uh, passageway before we ever get over into the Gulf of Alaska. Right. And once we get there, uh, we have also had uh, several excursions uh, that are unique to just our group. Uh, and the reason we do that is because there's probably 20 or 30 excursions offered right. at every stop. Some are expensive. I'll give you an example. They, they, we stop the ship in the middle of the inside passage. They come out with an open boat, and they load up 25 people in an open boat where it's cool, too cool, rainy, and we're going to go see whales. They never see whales, but it cost them $400 a piece. Yeah, and they can, all they see is just rain. That's it. We could have seen them all from the observation deck. They never get to see anything. Right. So don't go on that one. Okay. Uh, we've picked out the excursions and included the ones we think are the most exciting and most interesting for our group to go see. Now, that's the cool thing. So uh, a lot of the excursions are included, which some of the things I know we get to go up north. We're going to leave the ship here and take a private rail line? It's not Train? a private rail line. It is the regular Alaskan air, uh, uh, railroad, but the cars are special to Holland America. They own the cars. Okay. And these cars are double-deckers. You sit in the top deck, and below it is a cafe that is a gourmet, cooked-to-order 
uh, on board uh, cafe. And so the food is, is top level uh, for lunch as we travel about seven and a half hours from the port all the way up to Denali National Park. But these cars have like a 360 view. I mean, I've watched the video online. It's, it's just amazing. It's worth looking at, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really it, is. It, it, and one of the other things you don't notice in the video, perhaps, that glass that you're looking through is treated the same as your glasses are that, that change color in the right. sun. That's so that you can be in the sun and it doesn't come through to burn you in inside the car. It also is specially treated so that if you photograph through it, it doesn't influ the glass does not influence your photo. Well, you don't have as many cameras I have in toys. You know I'm excited about that, man. I'm, okay. a, I'm a gadget guy. So this is really, it's, it's more than a cruise. It's a trip of a lifetime. It's a trip. And what's going to happen when we get off here to uh, Denali National Park? Well, that's when the excitement really starts. The, the Denali used to be called McKinley uh, Peak. It's now Denali Peak after the local uh, got it changed. But <clears throat> we are staying at the McKinley Resort uh, which is owned by Holland American. So right. uh, this whole trip is controlled by Holland American, both the hotels. Everything we do is controlled by Holland American. One source makes it very, very easy for us to produce a very quality trip. But when we get to the, the park, we're going to get up at 4 in the morning and get on a little bus and go into the park to see animals that we can see. It could be a brown bear, at this time of year, they could have cubs with them. Mm -hmm. um, we can see eagles a lot. Uh, we can see the mountain. Oh my goodness! McKinley is the or um, Denali is the highest peak in North America, and that is way up there. Now, believe me, we don't want to go climbing on that thing. <laughs> it has glaciers on one side and all kinds of weather on the other side. It's a huge thing, and it's it. You can't tell how big it is until you get up a little closer to it, right. and then it just takes up the entire horizon. Uh, it's just enormous. And we thought everything was bigger in Texas. At, well, I think we sent it to them. <laughs> I'm not sure. <clears throat> so this is cool. But also, after that, aren't we supposed to get on, according to the video that I've watched, some kind of, not a paddle wheel, but... Well, when we get up to Fairbanks, uh, coming back to the resort for a second, we're there two nights. Yeah, uh, we see we have, there's a dinner theater there for us to kind of get amused uh, at the Alaskans and how they perceive themselves. Uh, we also uh, take a three-hour bus ride up to Fairbanks. Right. And at Fairbanks, there is uh, several rivers that converge right there in Fairbanks, and we take a paddle wheeler, and probably the most interesting part of the trip in terms of lecture. These people have been to Disneyland and they see how it worked. There are exhibits on the land and whenever the person who's doing the lecturing on the exhibit speaks, we hear it out of the speakers from the paddle wheeler. Wow. So everybody can hear very clearly what's being said. The first stop is an Iditarod uh, place where they are raising all the animals, uh, dogs, to be used in the sled rides. And they give you a demonstration by taking one of the sleds and putting wheels on it, connecting up the dogs, and they go for a five-mile race right in front of us. No way. It's gorgeous. It's, uh, people just look at that and want to take them all home with them. And then the biggie, before it's all over, you get to pet the puppies. You do. You can't do. take them home, but you can you pet can't them. Well, you could. It costs a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> but the puppies are probably the highlight of the of that day. Uh, uh, and with, there are a bunch of them. So you can get right in there and play with them. Uh, and that, frankly, a lot of people talk about that and make pictures of it and send yeah. them home more than anything else they do on the trip. You know, as, as, a, as a kid growing up in Sweetwater, I read Jack London's Call of the Wild. Yep. And now... I'm finally going to go up there. I'm going to be able to experience You're going it. to be right where he was. It's just in Alaska, amazing. You bet. Yeah, again, it said for July the 14th, July the 25th, all the details. You've got to get the brochure again. Bob Pickett, Alaska.com. There's, there's an interview there. There's a, a, a video that you can watch. But, I mean, 
This really is the trip of a lifetime, Herbert, and uh, thank you. You know, it's one way to celebrate my 40th anniversary here at KVK. It's Great. been on my bucket list, and we're going to get it done. I'm taking the family, so I want you to take your family. I want you to join us because it's, it's a lot of fun. I promise you, no Piggly Wiggly bags. It'll be a real luggage. Very good. By the time I go we right there. That. Um, oh, Northern Lights. Any chance to see the Northern you Lights can, while we're there? That's what we call it, a chance. A chance. Uh, it just so happens, and I don't know whether people understand how it works, but when the sun has sunspots, yeah. six days later, we have Northern Lights. So they are predictable. And this summer, we will see uh, the apex of the time of activity on the sun. It mm. should be the very best time. We will even be able to see them in daylight if they are strong enough. Perfect time. Perfect time. Again, We're there. July the 14th, July 25th. Okay, we got to get this done because I, I, I think this is the perfect holiday present for somebody. All the details, the brochure answers all the questions, right? That's correct, and it shows you everything that's included. And that's important because cruise ships are known for nickel and diming people right. to death. You will find so much that's included in this, you probably won't have to pull out your wallet. Not the whole trip. I'm telling you, and this is much more than just, oh, yeah, we're taking Alaskan Cruise. No, we're taking a trip of a lifetime. That's exactly right. It's on right. your bucket list, okay? BobPickettAlaska.com. BobPickettAlaska.com. I, I look forward to introducing you to my family and meeting your family. And, hey, let's go on this trip together, north to Alaska. We're going to do it.